Hello, welcome back everyone, it's Bini here. In today's video, we have some exciting news from China. Just recently, China made a significant move by cutting its key policy rate for the first time in 10 months. Right, the PBOC, which is the Central Bank of China, lowered the rate on 237 billion Chinese yuan, which is about 33 billion USD, of one-year medium-term lending facility, MLF, loans to some financial institutions by 10 basis points. Now, to understand a little bit more right, about this, what is MLF, right, Medium Term Lending Facility, we have to understand what and how China manages its monetary policy. Right, for the PBOC, it doesn't have only one tool. The PBOC, it listed seven tools, seven, right, to make adjustment to its monetary policy. I think the one that's uh, more well-known or more known to us is the reserve requirement ratio, which is RR, right? This is the amount of money that banks must hold in their coffers as a proportion of their total deposit. If you lower this required amount, it will increase the supply of money that banks can lend to businesses and individuals. Therefore, cutting borrowing costs All right now the other way that pboc is doing is via the two lending facilities one is the standing slf lending facility and the other one is the medium term lending facilities now for the standing lending facilities it's um it's a bit like where it's a shorter term loans right the loans has a maturity period of about one to three months Okay, um, but this time round, what PBOC did is to cut that basis point, that means interest rate for the MLF, which is the medium term lending facilities. Now, what is the MLF here? Now, Chinese bank will get funds with longer maturities, typically about three months to a year, right, from PBOC through the MLF. Now, this funding channel was introduced in 2014. It allows the central banks to inject liquidity into the banking system and influence interest rate for a longer period of time. Unlike the SLF, okay, um, the collateral that is being put up is a wider, is a much wider range. Okay, it's, for example, it includes like government bonds, notes, local government debts, and highly rated loans of small companies. Now, by cutting the interest rate of this MLF, what PBOC aims to do is to inject liquidity especially when we see that recently right a lot of data has been pointing to china growth slowing down especially we we saw that even the unemployment for the younger generation has been on the rise okay now this has a huge implication because um, it means that there will be more money flow into the system and that really gave a boost to the stock market the stock indices all right, last week. So let's jump to the next very important segment to understand how and which index has benefited from this move here. Now, before we move on, um, I appreciate if you can just click the button to subscribe and like, that would really, really help the channel. Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a like? All right, let's inspect the housing index. This is the month chart. First, uh, you know, take a look at the left side. Uh, you would understand why there was a rebound here, all right, around 18,000. Because this level was a previous low, okay? And, and this was like 2015, 2016 low. Now, this low point after which, uh, that Hang Seng found was support and it bounced up like 82%. Level here, which is around 18,500, will be a very important support level. And this is the second time. Why I mark that this is the second time? Because we had a touch here and price moved up. Then it um, moved down. All right, that's really like a wash and means for us. And it went up, okay, and it hit into a resistance. And right now, it is again testing into this level here. All right, I think we should be able to get a better viewpoint from the weekly chart. So let's take a look at the weekly chart here. Now, what I wanted to bring to your attention is that this one box is um, a quarter. This level of support, this support level has been very well respected for about one two three and coming to the fourth quarter All right now in other words right if if you look into the whole formation all right the formation is resembling like an inverted head and shoulder pattern here 
right? Uh, it hasn't formed that uh, inverted head and shoulder pattern, but what it does is that this current level here is looking like a low of that right shoulder. Uh, if we assume that price is trading the range, then there would be a few levels we want to take note of should there be a rebound from here. First would be uh, this quarter high, which would, which would be around 20,800. So this would be the quarter high as the first resistance. Okay, so this would be 20,800 here. And of course, what is uh, most notable would be the recent high or rather last year, this year high point, And that's about 22,200 to 22,000. 500, 600. So these would be the two levels where you want to take note of in terms of its trading range. And of course, if you take a look at patterns, chart pattern, if price can close above 22,600, that would be a confirmed reversal of this inverted hand shoulder pattern. Right. Uh, as you know, uh, my style is that I don't like to buy when it is, you know, with this uh, huge move up, like a surge right now. Uh, I always want to look out for for a good discounted point, right? Um, so a, a potentially, right, a good discounted level, right, it's going to happen probably around here, which is about 19,180 plus minus this level here. And that would be if there should be a retracement, all right, that would be a zone that potentially, all right, I want to uh, focus on because this would be a support zone here. So that's about 19,100 to 19,500. Have you clicked the subscribe button and how about a like?